I hope you are doing good wherever you are and uh, welcome to Nemtech channel. Today we are going to discuss on CSS Crash Course Part 2. Remember we discussed the, the previous one in the last video and in this Part 2 we are going to handle the CSS outline. We are going to handle also the CSS uh, text and our fonts. So I had already created this, uh, you know, this uh, HTML document and that's why you are seeing my page here and uh, I've styled it a bit but uh, we are going to do it more when we, we when we will now we want to discuss uh, the CSS outlines and the the text and the fonts so uh, let's go to our text editor first of all we want to style this uh, h1 this heading so let's go to our text editor and then um, we go to the same selector which is h1 and then in the H1, first of all, before you you know you you style an outline or you make an outline, first of all you need to have uh, you know the border, because uh, the outline is a line drawn outside the you know the HTML borders to make it stand out. So first of all you need to have the the border. So with the border we use the border property, which is just border. And then um let's make it uh, thick. Thick is the same as 5 pixel thick and then let's make it solid. Remember I'm using this shorthand then to write a uh, different codes here for thick, uh, for you know the border width and uh, so forth. And then the color, uh, let's make it something like uh, like red, red. Or let's use this color here. And then I'm um, click control is to save. Always remember to save before refreshing on the browser. To refresh, you just click Control R, or you you, you use this uh, you know this icon for refresh. So here I have my border. So now we want to add an an, an outline. So with the outline, we are going to, to use the same shorthand. We are going to use the shorthand. So with the outline, you just use the outline. Outline. I'm using the shorthand. So with the outline, remember the, the outline property, you have the outline style, outline color, outline width, outline offset. It's the same as, you know, the borders, but I don't want to, to go into details with it in that because um, when you know borders, the shorthand for borders, it's just the same as, you know, the outline. So uh, first of all, with the outline, uh, outline width, let me say it thick again for outline and then um the the style let's make it solid solid and then the color let's give it something like um let's say red or white let's let's use another color today uh, let's say white i uh, remember with the color you can use uh, the names i taught you these things you can use the name uh, the value uh, or uh, the values the rgb ones are uh, the hsl and um the hexadecimal values so um just click ctrl s to save and then on the browser you click ctrl r so guys you can see we have the outline the outline for this border it is five pixel thick also the border is uh, five uh, pixel five pixel thick sorry so this is now all about uh, the the outline the outline so we have the properties that we which are uh, the outline style is like uh, we you can use uh, the solid the dashed the you know the rich the 3d ones so let's try to use a uh, use another style like uh, let's say dashed dashed then click ctrl s and then on the browser click ctrl r you can see we have uh, you know the dashed uh, outline but I always like uh, I always I always like the solid one. Or uh, let, let me use uh, the double. Double. We we'll use the double property. Then click Control S to save, and the browser Control R to refresh. So when I zoom in, uh, you can see I have my my you know my double outline. I hope you can see. So let me just zoom out yeah so this is my outline so the next thing that uh, we want to discuss on outline is the outline offset 
remember with the outline offset we use uh, different properties not the same as uh, you know, we do not include in this uh, uh, in this you know this shorthand we use a different you know a different property which is outline outline so uh, with the outline sorry sorry so with the outline uh, you can uh, the same as you know not really we are using we we are <laughs> discussing offset sorry please offset outline offset outline offset yeah we use this property so for outline offset it's like uh, making a distance between the or creating a space between the border and the your and your outline so like uh, the offset will create some space here to separate the outline and the you know the border the edge of the border so and the, basically the offset is transparent so let's try tight so that you may see so the offset we use the offset width which is when we say something like um 10 pixel 10 pixel thick it will create a uh, 10 pixel thick uh the space you know the space around uh, that uh, is uh, between the you know the offset and the edge of the of the board so click control r so you can see where it has created some space here that uh, separates the and the edge of the border and the offset and the edge of the offset so but uh, let me use uh, something like a five pixel then click control s to save click control r to refresh so you can see it goes on uh, reducing when you reduce the the size three is always the medium defines a medium control r so you can see that uh, when you use a three it is very very best and uh, perhaps efficient so i don't know if you can see perhaps someone is using a phone i don't know but uh, when i zoom when i zoom in i i'm sure that uh, you can see you can see well so it creates some space between the uh, the the outline at uh, the, uh, the edge of the border and the uh, edge of the uh, of the offset remember the offset we said that uh, it is dashed that's why you can see it has two lines here but uh, perhaps le let's make it solid not dashed but we make it we made it double but uh, let's use solid then click control s click control r to refresh so you can see you have the solid one but uh, still we have the same um, space around it so guys i think um, this is now all about uh, the the out the you know the outline we have discussed the outline uh, the shorthand and the and also the outline offset so i, I think this is now all about uh, the uh, the outline but also also remember that uh, you can style any element of html any html element but for me, I decided to use uh, you know this heading so that it may be you know uh, so that you may understand well. But you can style as well these ones for your table and uh, so forth. So uh, the next thing that we wanna discuss is the uh, the CSS text. Before then, I want to remove these uh, these outline things. I don't like them. Click Control S then click on the to refresh so that to, to remove it so the next thing that uh, we want to discuss is the the css text so we, with the css text you have uh, you know we can uh, you, you can make a text colored remember we actually we previewed some it's like uh, we talked about uh, you know colors css text colors and a bit but uh, we are going to repeat again and also we will we'll talk about text align and what else text uh, size and uh, so forth so to begin with let's uh, discuss the uh, the text color and again we are going to use this h1 the heading so that uh, it you may you may see very well so you go to the same selector which is h1 and then um, you say color we use the color property so the color property you can make it red by typing red remember you can you can color you know a html element using the the color name or the color value so perhaps let me see i click control s to save and then uh, 
control R to refresh. So as you can see when you, we use the color name still to give us the same color, but let's try uh, using the uh, the three, the you know the the RGB. Sorry, I don't want this. Uh, this. Uh, so let me just delete it. So you can use also the, uh, for example, let's begin the uh, hexadecimal. I don't want to use red because uh, you know to differentiate. So I'm going to give red zero, and then um, blue uh, R G B. So green, green the next. So let me give green the highest value. RGB and then now uh, zero zero for for blue. Then click Control S so the our color will be green. You can see our color is green. But uh, let's uh, give uh, let's give uh, uh, the uh, let's give it uh, let's give, uh, make it blue. So we use uh, the blue. Uh, we give. Uh, the the rest is zero zero and then so uh, this is for red this is for green and then and then blue let's give it ff remember ff is the largest value in the in the hexadecimal value so when you click control s it will be and then refresh it will be blue so guys you can see it is blue yeah so this is now all about uh, colors you can use as well the rgb the RGB. So, for example, uh, let's uh, let's use the RGB. So we say RGB, and then now uh, we use this, uh, and then now uh, we use uh, these are uh, uh, the brackets, and then inside. Remember, I told you that uh, the RGB we, ha we have the the range between the highest value has to 55, yeah, and the minimum is zero. So actually, 255 defines that uh, defines the the maximum number or, or the maximum value number of a of a color. The maximum value of a color. Like if we give it uh, the red to be 255 and the rest to be zero, uh, the color will be zero. So let's try 255, comma, and then the rest. Let's give it zero zero. So obviously the color will be red. So I click Control S to save and then Control R to refresh. Sorry, mm. I separated this. Yeah, you must. They must be, you know, uh, just at the same. They must follow each other. Then you click Control S to save and then on the browser Control R to refresh. So guys, okay, you can see our color is red now. So uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is the text align. So uh, uh, already I had uh, you know um, style this uh, text to be at the center, but you can as well make it appear at the you know at the left hand side or uh, at the right hand side. So let's try to make it appear at the at the at the right hand side. So we use the we use the let's go to the same um, selector and then um, create another line. And then write text align. We use the text align property. And then in the text align property, uh, let's say make it left to go to the left hand side. When you click Control S to save, and then I refresh, you can see our text will go to the left hand side. But uh, when you give it right, it will go to the right. Mm, it will go to the la to the right. So Control R. You can see our text goes to the right, but I always like it to be at the center, so I'm giving it center. Center. And then when I click Control R, you can see our text will go to the center. So this is now how you can style your, you can align your text. So the next thing that we want to talk about is the text decoration. Actually, the text decoration is all about making an underline. You can make an underline or a line through, or the line that cuts through this, uh, you know, title. Or you can make a line overline. You can make an overline here, a line up upside here. So let's try it. Go to another line, and then type text decoration. We use text de decoration property, which is here. 
and then when you say underlined and then click control s to save and then uh, refresh you can see we have an underline and then um, perhaps when you say um, overlay a line through or let's begin with the overline overline then click control s to save and then here refresh you can see we have the overline the line that is over the uh, the our title here our heading uh, but when we say line through it will cut the line the heading line through then click control s to save then control r to refresh you can see it has cut the heading the line through but i don't like uh, this uh, i don't like this property let me just remove to make uh, the text just to be default so refresh so we have removed it, the text decoration so this is now all about uh, the text decoration so now the next thing that i want to talk about on the text on text formatting is the uh, text transformation so with the text transformation you can make uh, like uh, today we are going to this time we are going to uh, focus on this paragraph so you can make a uh, text uppercase you can make a uh, text lowercase or you can capitalize each word of each letter of a word so today we are going this time we are going to use uh, the the uh, the paragraph property the p pro pro property so we are going to use the selected p open and close the curly braces so we are going to say text text transform we use the text transform property and then um we want to make it uh, uppercase everything to be uppercase we use the uppercase uh, value then you click control s and then i here refresh control r to refresh so guys you can see our uh, the text are uppercase all of them uh if we use the lowercase all the text will be lowercase lowercase control s to save and then here control r to refresh so guys you can see all our text is um it is lowercase but if we give it something like uh, capitalize it will capitalize each word each letter capitalize it will capitalize each letter of a word like these first letters of, a, of each word so let's click control r to refresh so that you may see you can see each um each first letter of a word it is capitalized yeah so the, this is now all about uh, the text transform yeah let me just remove so that it may be default control s and then uh, control r to refresh to make it default so uh the next thing that i want to talk about on text formatting is the text spacing so uh with the text spacing we are going to discuss on text indentation a letter spacing line height a word spacing and so forth and then at the same we are going for we have used the heading uh, for a long time so this time we want to focus on the paragraph so we are going to use um, the text indent property so we are, we go to the same uh, selector pin then open and close the curly braces and then um, you say text indent text indent indent and then um, actually the text indent is like uh, making the space uh, the the space between the margin and the first line of uh, of uh, you know of your paragraph it's like a straightener space here like making a paragraph uh, you know start uh, you know um something like here you can make it anywhere but it it, it no it does not begin at the same you know at the same margin at the same as other words so this is now all about the the you know the intent uh, if we give it something like uh, let's say 10 pixel or let's say 50 pixel then click control s and then uh, here refresh control r to refresh so guys you can see it has created the space between the margin the edge and the you know and the first word of uh, of our paragraph so this is now all about the intent text intent and then the next thing that we want to talk about is the text spacing 
so in the next line we are going to use a different property which is um the letter spacing letter spacing so with the letter spacing property it's like uh making the space between letters so perhaps let's try making um five pixel or let's say 10 pixel let 10 pixel control s and control r so guys you can see the letter space in the space between letters is 10 pixel um wide so this is not not that pleasing yeah but uh, i want i just wanted to uh to make you understand the space letter spacing you can as well perhaps let's try to make it you know sharing or uh, come together let's use a negative value here like uh, negative two negative two then click control s to save control r to refresh so guys you can see our text is very very much close to each other you can hardly see anything or read anything yeah so this is now all about the text as letter spacing actually letter spacing click control r to refresh so the the other thing that we want to talk about is the line height line height is like uh, making the space the you know the space here between lines like you can make it appear close or uh, you can make it appear very wide so uh, first of all let's try to make it something like um, if we say if we say something like uh, we had discussed the line height line height if we give it something like a 10 pi 5 pixel it will be very wide right 5 pixel then click control s to save and then control r to refresh so as you can see our lines are very very close to each other but if i give it something like a 50 50 pixel then click control s to save and then refresh you can see our lines are very wide now mm, very wide very wide very wide to each other so guys uh, this is now all about uh, the uh, the line height property so the other thing that we want to talk about is the is the uh is the word spacing actually word spacing is like uh uh making the the space between the words like uh, lorem here ipsium so to create the space here we use the we use the the word spacing property so you can go to the same property for a paragraph and then say um we are discussing word spacing actually word word spacing yeah word spacing we use the word spacing property and then um when I give it something like uh, uh let's say 20 pixel it will be very big large click control s to save and then uh, here refresh control r to refresh so i guess you can see our the spaces between the ones are very very wide mm, you can as well make it very close to each other by using um uh the negative values or uh, any value that uh, it is below the other one like uh, let's say negative two then i click refresh so as you can see our texts are very very much close to each other so this is now how you can style um you know your text you are yeah the text and then um i think uh, this is now all about uh, the the text so we are going to discuss on the you know the uh, the the sizes the font sizes when we will be reaching when we will reach uh, the css fonts but uh, before we go to the css fonts let's try to uh, discuss the text you know shadow so that with the text shadow let's try to uh, customize this uh, this heading we are going to style this heading so with the text shadow we use the text shadow property but uh, i want us to i want us to to make this this these are uh, title to be black to be default to be default so we are going to use them we are going to use uh, the let me say um f uh, zero zero for black uh, one two three yeah they should be six the extra decimal value then click control s to save control r to replace 
I've made it to be black. So I want to style it to make it, to make a shadow here. And you know, by now you know shorthand, so I don't want to go into details about it. So I'm going to use uh, the text shadow property, and then I'm using the the you know uh, the shorthand so that uh, in a single line you are going to uh, put everything together. So first of all, the text uh, the text uh, color should be let me let me give it something like a uh, red, and then. Let me say two pix two pixel. Two pixels like uh, the space between the uh, the you know the the original word and the the shadow, and then uh, the, the the when you say something like a two pixel again, it's like now the size of that shadow, two pixel use a pixel, and also when you say again two pixel, two pixel. It's like adding the blur, the blurness, the blurness between the uh, in that shadow. So when you click Control S to save, and then I refresh. So guys, you can see our text has a has a shadow. Yeah. So you can use any color, any style, or anything you want. But uh, this is now all about uh, the text shadow. You can do as much practice as you can, but. Uh, to reduce uh, you know uh, time wastage let me go to and the CSS fonts yeah I think that uh, you are good with that uh, if you have any question let me see in the comment section or uh, perhaps you can join our telegram group I'll share the link in the description so that uh, you may join us but meanwhile let's go to the CSS fonts so um the CSS fonts, uh, but, um, before we begin, is uh, on fonts. What you need to know is that uh, choosing the right font for your website is very, very important. It has a huge impact on how uh, readers experience uh, you know, your, websites, your websites. So it's always good to have uh, the right fonts so that uh, the, the users or uh, the readers may you know, enjoy your uh, website staining on your website website actually the website so um we have uh, the generic font family which are five so we have the serif we have some serif we have monospace cursive fonts and our fo and our fantasy we are going to discuss each and everyone in details so we are going first of all to begin with the serif the serif so the serif uh, fonts have uh, you know some small stroke at the edge of each letter. Uh, they they create uh, they create something like a, a sense of you know fam family familiarly and uh, you know some elegance. You know uh, the text like uh, Times New Roman, Georgia and uh, Jeremiah. You 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 when you uh, look at it, you will see some space. You know some stroke at the edge. So um, without wasting time, let's try it. So uh, I'm going to use uh, the paragraph. So the select SP. And then um, I'm going to use, uh, let's say, text font. Uh, is it text font? I, I think it's a uh, text font, yeah? Yeah, t the text font. So we say, uh, font, yeah, font family, not text font, font, font family, I guess. Yeah, and then um, let's try Times New Roman. Times New Roman. Um, let me just write Times Times New Roman. They always come in a pair. Remember, uh, these fonts perhaps not uh, available in a in a in a certain browser. The Times New Roman. So it will give you the second option for Times. Uh, if Times not available, if you would you use this as a serif for you know generic font family um, the browser will choose any of the font that are related so remember these are uh, belong to the same class so when you add this as a serif uh, you know serif class it will give it will help the browser to pick any of the color that relates to these ones so perhaps but uh, remember the first priority is this one if it's not available it'll go to this one if this one is not available um, the browser will now choose in the same generic fam, fam, font family uh, so that it may be 
it may display well on your browser so just click control s to save and then on the browser control r to refresh uh, control r to refresh so first of all ensure that uh, everything is okay here so we are using the font family property um, yeah ensure that you save click control s to save and then on the browser control r to refresh so already our text is um the text is already <laughs> is already named in roman you can see it has some edges it has some edges you know some stroke at the top here so this already tends in roman so it, it cannot you know um have a difference so it has some stroke when you when let me try to zoom in yeah you can see it has some strokes at the edge here yeah some strokes so this is now all about uh, the the serif the serif so another thing that i want to discuss is the sun serif sun serif the, the same as almost the same as with the serif one but uh, the, the the difference is that um uh, the sun serif doesn't have the stroke so something like uh, aereo 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 click control s to save and then uh, on the browser refresh so guys you can see uh the text does not have the that stroke when you refresh you can see our text doesn't uh, does not have the stroke like they are they are done for serif so these are the and uh, the sans serif the generic font family for sans serif so let me zoom uh, zoom out so uh, the other thing that i want to talk about the monospace so with the monospace we use the um we have the monospace actually here all letters have you know some some fixed width some fixed width and they they create you know some you know mechanical look uh, let's try we have the the examples are korea korean you have lucida control you have Mo monaco so let's try korea um korea yeah korean you and then i click control s to save and then on the browser control r to refresh so guys you can see our text is monospace so this is how it is now all about the monospace i remember you, you can use another one for lucida perhaps let's to use the other one for lucida um, lucida uh it's lucida control lucida lucida console console uh it will not bring perhaps uh, my browser doesn't support that one that's why it will not bring but let's go to another one provided you have understood uh the other one is uh the cursive the cursive fonts uh these cursive fonts actually imitate the uh, human handwriting uh, if you go to different softwares like uh, Word or uh, you know the Photoshop, uh, it is always named script. They are the script fonts. They imitate the human handwriting. So uh, let's use uh, the cursive. Let's type cursive, and then uh, click Control uh, S to save, and then here Control R to refresh. So as you can see, um, it's almost imitating the human handwriting. Can thing is just someone who, who has written the uh these are uh, this what this paragraph so i'm just using the examples but i remember you have different types of you know the the cursive fonts also the other one is uh, uh the fantasy uh the fantasy actually they are the fonts for decoration they are the decorative you can use them to you know to decorate your texts to color your text and so forth they are very very good for decorating uh, your text so they are called uh, the fantasy fantasy i'm just using the name because uh, uh actually they and, and the example is uh, like uh, the copper plate and uh, papyrus perhaps this browser will not um, uh you know bring them that's why i'm using them the name the name of the generic family so that it itself it may choose for us so click control s to save 
then I control R to refresh. So as you can see, our text, um, they are the fantasy. They are uh, very, very something unique. These are the texts that are very, very good for, you know, uh, for decoration, decorative, or uh, making some playful fonts. So I think, guys, uh, by now you understand uh, the, uh, you know, the, you know, the text. Um, the text fonts are uh, the CSS fonts. So I don't think let's try to go to another thing. Like um, I remember we have the self uh, the C CSS webs as uh, self fonts of which you have discussed a bit. It's like um, CSS web fonts uh, self uh, web fonts. This is like uh, you know making a uh, text that uh, which is applicable uh, applicable in. Uh, different uh, browsers like um, the ones that are you know they are uh, universal like at uh, the times in Roman we have Arial we have what uh, those are the copper plates for you know the fantasy ones and then for mono mono space and the one that is universal is um it's like uh, the you know uh, the brush script MT and uh, so forth so these are the uh, the there was web safe fonts. They are the ones that are universal. But it's always used to good to use the fallback fonts. Perhaps our browser will not support a certain font. So when you use uh, the, like for example, when we use the, the, the Times New Roman, so Times New Roman, so you see when you have two types of fonts, if this, not, this one is not available in that browser, or that browser doesn't support, it will give uh, the second option here, which is times. If times is not available, so um, when you use uh, this uh, generic font family, it will, it, will alert, it will automatically select in the same family, but uh, uh, the browser itself will select that the one that is supported in that browser. So I think uh, these are uh, these are the f uh, the fallback fonts. They are the uh, like uh, the backups fonts. So um. The next thing that uh, perhaps we want to talk about is the uh, the font weight. So let's first of all click Control S and then make a refresh here to make our uh, text to be default. Uh, most of the browsers uh, make uh, their default te fonts is uh, in the terms in Roman or Arial because they are the ones that are you know they are uh, the universal. They are supported in most operating systems. So um, the next thing that we're going to talk about is the font weight. So with the font weight, um, use the font weight property. Uh, we are we are going to on the same paragraph. We are staying in the same uh, paragraph. So we use the font weight. So with the font weight is like um, if you make a text normal, it just appear normal like that. But if you make it bold bold then click control s and then I refresh you see our text will, bo will be bold uh, if we make no more no more our text will just be normal to not have those boldness yeah uh, this is now how you can play around with those at uh, the font weight uh, the next thing perhaps is like um uh you know uh the the font variant so the font varia variant specify the whether or not the text will be you know displayed in small caps fonts so we use this uh, the font variant property um, let's create another let's create another line here and say font variant font variant and then perhaps let's try to say small caps and then click control s to save and then uh, here refresh so uh it will give you it will give us the the you know the upper case because the it was so it was already small caps so it give us the uh, the upper case it goes the opposite of it um, but if you give it return it to normal mm -hmm. When you say normal, our text will just be normal. Uh, and perhaps if the text were, you know, all uppercase, 
it will return if you use uh, the cups uh, the you know small cups it will return to and the small cups control R to rephrase so to make it you know just be default like that so the next thing is that uh, that we want to talk about is the um the text size the font size so with the font size uh, we use ju we just use the font size property and then at the same time we want to style this a uh, paragraph so you go to the same selector which is p and then uh, here you type just font size mm, font size and then i'm going to use uh, the pixel remember uh, with the font size you can use the em the pixel or uh, whichever uh, one you want to use but uh, the measurement yeah, they are just the same we are going to discuss the em, EM later but before then let's try to use the um the pixels by default when you open a browser like this one this is 16 pixel uh, large or uh, yeah this is 16 pixel large so and let's try another one like a 32 the double of it so when you say that it to that it pixel click on roll s it will make uh, the font size to be double so control uh, r to face so you can see our text is um double of it but uh, if you return to 16 it will be it will be uh just normal yeah control r so our text will just be normal um but then the next thing that i want to talk about is the em uh, to to resize or to size your text with the em value so basically 16 pixels equals to 1 em so if we just let's try two so if it is two we use a it will be 32 pixels so we say 2 em em is a unit is a unit for measurement in uh css so when you refresh it will be double of it the same as that two pixel control r you can see we have our the text our text is double of it so uh, when i say one em it will be just default by default just like a 16 pixel control uh, s to save and then i hear control r to refresh so you can see our text is just as normal as how it was so to calculate uh, you know to get some value or uh, the measurement with the em you divide by 16. so like um if we want um uh, for example if we have a uh, 40 pixel we want to make 40 pixel to em so you just you just type 40 uh 40 perhaps for, let's use 40 40 divided by 16 uh 16 and then mm, you click uh, on your calculator uh, you, it will give you the measurement it's like uh, here it will give us something like a two point a uh, two point five i'm using the calculator because uh, this is not a calculator in this uh, browser but i'm just i just want to make you understand we you just uh, divide the same the same like this uh, for example if you use 2.5 it will be 40 pixel it will be 40 pixel 2.5 the same as 40 pixel so let me say 2.2.5 em 2.5 em then click control s it will be 40 pixel very very big control r to replace so you can see our text is 40 pixel yeah um if we say 2.2 it will give uh, you another value mm, refresh so it goes just in that manner but always make it be one em control s to save and then uh, here refresh so um just in default is how it was so perhaps i think that is now all about uh, the css um fonts so far we have discussed the css outline the css text and uh, we have uh, concluded with the css and the css what css fonts so guys um i don't want to exhaust you with many things by now but uh 
you know i'm going to create another video part three the crash course part three where we shall discuss on the css uh, icons uh the you know the 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 tables and that lo logos icons uh, and um list uh, uh, tables and uh, you know forms and uh, and uh, many other things that we shall discuss them in the next video but for now guys go and practice what i've taught you just rewind the video where you haven't understood and uh, please just subscribe to this channel i'm going to create to you know to upload more videos that are, might be helpful helpful for you and uh, please just subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that when i upload you just get notified and also please share the video remember sharing is caring so thank you so much guys for your patience for your precious time the, that uh, you watch to the end please subscribe thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video